All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. At Tulsa Airport, International Airport, we're picking up two cargo tractors. Uh, it's only part of the load. After these two cargo tractors, I have to head over to Memphis and pick up two more cargo tractors. Um, load is weighing in like 25,000 pounds all together with all the tractors. Um, then we're going from Memphis to Wareham, Massachusetts. It is uh, 1,700 miles altogether, $5,500. Uh, let's get to it. This is what we're looking at. We got two cargo tractors, real easy. Uh, chain straps, and we get it done. Um, really, uh, it, it, I already see my points looking at the tractors. I see a tug point there. Lock point there, tug point, whatever you want to call it. Another point, throw strap, throw, throw a strap over, and we're good. Uh, these things are really light, so, you know, I'm not, like I said, the, this doesn't even make up the whole load, and the entire load would be 25,000 pounds, so. <clears throat> when I go on a load board for loads, uh, the first thing I do is basically set my uh, search for least amount of deadhead, and I usually set it between 20 and 25,000 pounds, because if I can get a load, for at 25,000 pounds and a minimal deadhead and make the same exact money as getting a load for 48,000 pounds and going even a shorter distance. My goal basically is to take lighter weight, make more money, lighter weight, shorter distance, make the same amount of money. It makes no sense to put all that wear and tear on my truck. Uh, why would I carry 48,000 pounds for 1,500 miles when I can carry 20,000 pounds for 1,500 miles and make the same or more money? Um, less wear and tear on the truck, less fuel. So that's what I do when I check the load board. Um, that doesn't always work out. Uh, most of the time it has. Right now, rates are great. Uh, I gotta take advantage of it while while you know while they're great but either way let's get to it and uh we'll get it locked All down right, let's let milk shake out look at the load i'll get a glimpse oh she wants to be out Hey, wait, what you doing? Come on, come on down. Good girl, go. Go use the bathroom. All right, so just to show everybody what we're looking at, we got four chains. We got one chain pulling this way, one chain pulling that way, one chain pulling this way, one chain pulling that way. This tractor had two toe points. So I went through the toe points. This tractor had one tool point in the back, and I had one through those, I don't know what you want to call that, a bumper guard or whatever is up there. I went through that up there. Um, the reason I didn't pull the chain that way and that way, because then I would have had all the chains crossing each other and mixing up. Uh, another thing is I'm getting two more tractors back here and some other things i believe so i don't want to pull this chain back here and interfere with whatever i'm getting next so just to save all that nice and easy and i got my two straps going over right remember the entire load when i pick up in memphis is less than twenty-five thousand pounds so these things have to be light have to be light um there's more than enough securement on it the strap I didn't have to throw it. I could have I could have drove off without the strap, but I put the strap on it. So So that's what we're looking at. We're about to pull out of here. We got to head to Memphis. I also have to stop in St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis. 
because uh, I ordered two six foot drop tarps um, that I need to go pick up. I ordered six foot drops from Tri-City Canvas and I ordered eight foot drops from DeRoche. The eight foot drops won't be ready uh, for another month, but I'm in no rush. Milkshake. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. Come on. All right. We're at Memphis National Airport or whatever it's called, but we're here. We got two things to pick up. We got this ground power unit and another uh, baggage tractor. Um, this morning, you guys seen we put the two uh, cargo tractors up. So, uh, this baggage tractor is only 3,000 pounds. Um, the brake is on. We made sure that the brake was on. Um, and I threw a strap over that, strap over that, strap over that. Uh, if it decides to roll forward, which I'm pretty sure that it won't, but if it does, it can't go anywhere. There's no room for it to go anywhere. And it doesn't. These things are tight. We got 15,000 down, 15, pounds of downward pressure on it. It's not moving anywhere. Uh, behind it is going to go to baggage tractor. And I'll show you what that guys, guys, what that looks like when we do it. As you can see, that's how much weight I got down on it. You see the tires. I'm pulling down on that. But um, I only have, uh, I think I, I think I only have four, four, two, I, I think I only have two chains left. Um, if I do have four chains left later down the road, I might, might or might not chain this ground power unit. I'll think about it. Um, but I definitely going to save my chains for this baggage tractor because the baggage tractor alone is 13,000 pounds. So uh, um, we're going to get, we're going to, yeah, 13,000 pounds, he said. Um, unfortunately, we can't load it here. We're going to have to drive to a different part of the airport. You know, uh, it's things like this. Like I called them this morning so that they would have all of this set up and i get here and he looks at me and he says oh we didn't know you were coming and i'm thinking and he seen the way i looked at him when he said that he said well until you called us this morning and i said to him well that's why i called you this morning you know like you know i was coming let's set it up so i, I can get in and out but now it's a whole bunch of this and that but either way uh we're gonna get the we're gonna get the baggage tractor um they gotta get it on a flatbed and then they're gonna escort me over to this other part of the airport because he started to give me directions to tell me you're gonna have to go over here you're going to go. i said look can somebody just escort me over there like why send me somewhere and I have to get lost on these grounds and uh, you got a pickup truck, you can just lead the way. Uh, I don't know. Either way, that's how it's going down. Let's see what's next. All right, so we're in the second, we're in the second location. Uh, I'm gonna keep the three straps. I'm not gonna do any chains. What I did just to uh, be more secure with the forward like if this thing decided to roll is i added this two inch over the axle to the other side that thing's not going anywhere it only weighs three thousand pounds it has over twelve thousand pounds of securement on it uh actually over seventeen thousand pounds of securement on it that thing isn't going anywhere uh this is thirteen thousand pounds we got two chains on it one from this tow point as you can see pulling this way and one from this tow point pulling this way all right uh not gonna throw any strap over it uh, it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna go anywhere 
So that's what we're looking at. Like I said, uh, 1,700 miles from the first from Tulsa. We're now in Memphis, going up to Massachusetts, $5,500. Um, it was an easy go. I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna say it again. I do not like ratchet straps. I mean, I do not like uh, ratchet binders. Those things, I don't like them. I don't like them. Uh, I got a ratchet binder that's totally jammed. If I relied only on my ratchet binders, I'd be here trying to figure something out. Um, snap binders is my way to go. Yes, people hurt themselves because they're reckless and clumsy and don't pay attention to what the hell they're doing. But uh, I have a ratchet binder on that. Thankfully, I have ratchet binders um, on my... In, Thankfully, I have ratchet binders in my headache rack. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. Um, and I did that in two seconds as opposed to me trying to get this, spending 15 minutes trying to get this ratchet binder that I had. That snap binder, that snap binder over there took two minutes. That snap binder, not even, seconds. As opposed to me trying to this ratchet binder that i had trying to get it unjammed um trying to work it out oiling it, it, it it's just then walking back to the headache rack and back there and i'm just not a fan of the uh them binders maybe they're cheap i don't know let's see let's see what's up let's, let's just say where it's made my 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 tea is that American made? I don't know. Is that American made? My tea? Either way, either way, I don't like it. So that's what we're looking at. We're on our way, two cargo tractors, ground power unit, and a baggage tractor. Memphis, uh, Memphis Airport, Memphis International Airport. Uh, Let's get out of here because I gotta get to St. Louis, pick up these uh two six foot drop tarps that I've ordered and get and make my way to Massachusetts. Y'all know what it is. Be cool, stay fresh, peace, choice mass.